Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tyler again. I'm going to show you today how I made that soundscape. We'll start off with one of my favorites, which is the Sleepy Carrot. Okay, let's look at the code together. Um, the code starts with the event when the actor clicked. This makes the snore2 sound effect play. Then the size grows to 60%. Then after a wait, the actor returns to a starting size of 50% using the set size mark. This creates the animation each time the actor is clicked. That little dragon called Growler, it uses the same trick to grow and shrink on click. Now let's look at the boombox actor. It has a variable called playing. This controls the state of the boombox. Playing is a boolean. That means it only has possible values of true or false. In other words, this boombox is either playing a single track or it's off. Here's the code that does it. On click, the value of playing toggles between true and false using the dot block. If the value of playing is true, the music track plays. A second script starts the boombox animation using the same playing variable. Now let's look at the waving robot. It uses synth blocks. Be warned, these blocks are only available on the web. If you're following along on the iPad, you won't be able to use them yet. But let's take a look together. At the start of this script, we create a synth, then load it. I used one of the preset synths, but you can even customize it further. When the actor is clicked, it begins a loop that plays a random note, switches costumes, then repeats, with some delays in between. With each next costume, you'll get a unique random note played by this synth. Because the notes are low in the range of 30 to 47 on a scale where 60 is middle C, the robot sounds just how I want it, weird and low, and it's unique each time you play it. The button stars in my project only appear at night. They're actually clones of a single actor controlled with the message called night. Seven clones will be created when the actor receives the night message. During the day, the actor hides and the button clones are deleted. Now let's look at the clones code. How stars are placed and how they play notes. Notice how it all starts with the clone startup block. Each clone gets a random location, a random size, and a random turning speed too. Each time the program runs, it'll be a little different. And more than that, you can see that the notes are random too. We pick a random note between 72 and 90 and store that in a script variable. Then this program plays the descending sequence of notes using play note, then note minus one, note minus two. The final note of the sequence is always 94. This helps to make sure that people notice how the notes are changing with each click of the stars. Okay, that's it for me. If you're curious about the other actors, just take a look inside to see how they are coded. Thanks again for watching.